Welcome back, guys. We got the Isle of Man, TT Top Speed moments. Yeah, this seems like it's intense. From what we read, yes, it is a dangerous race. And uh, clearly, we're going to see some top speed moments yeah. in this video. We're actually coming to this one on the heels of doing Faster by Within Temptation. And um, you guys were saying that that was featured in one of their videos on like the soundtrack or whatever. I don't think it's going to be included on this video that we're doing, uh, but um, we wanted to do some something from Isle of Man. Yeah, it get a little really bit familiar cool. with this. Yeah. All the, all you guys, that's what you guys were saying. I was so confused when I was reading the comments. I'm like, the Isle of Man, the Isle of Man. What the hell are you guys talking about? Like, it's just a like, band. What is, is the Isle group? of Man? Like, and then once, um, actually Mark um, was emailing us about something else and he mentioned Isle of Man and that it had relation to you because of your dirt bike experience. <laughs> and um, so then it clued in that I think my uncle was a fan of races like this mm. um he had mentioned it to me before a long time ago the isle of man and i was like because it did sound familiar mm -hmm. that name i was like where does that is it a place i know of or what and i think it was because my uncle really enjoyed watching this and or, or something he knew something about this so cool. and i think it's um like near ireland and england okay um but i'm not entirely sure so Anyways, I was super confused. Now I understand. We're getting into a race. I'm excited to check it out. We do sports re reactions on the channel. Mm -hmm. So this fits in perfectly with our content. And I'm excited to see what these top seed moments are going to be all about. You ready? Yeah, I have like a little bit of anxiety because I'm like, oh my God, like this is going to be intense. Yeah. And give us some details about this. Like, what do they do? Do they shut down the whole island? Yeah. Or, you know, I don't know. Anything. Like, it looks this. like there's lots of people here standing outside, right? Oh, so yeah. maybe they shut down the entire thing and everybody just goes well, to it. Well, I think it's it. one of the most popular events in the world, right? So. Um, anyways, give us some details, guys. Yeah. We're not going to elaborate and try to speculate on things because we don't know much about it. So we appreciate your insights. But let's check out some top speed moments. That's wild. <laughs> what? 240 kilometers. This looks like it's a special effect because they're going so fast. Oh, it's wild how fast they're going. Even watching people's heads, they're literally like, <laughs> like yeah, you like only you see them for a split see second. How, like, like I would miss it. Yeah, hundred percent. This is crazy. And that jump. What's crazy is the rush that this guy just got from sitting there and watching it go by. Yeah, like feeling the wind. I can't even imagine being on the bike. I'd like be you, terrified. <laughs> you make one tiny, tiny, tiny little mistake and you're dead. 
I am like definitely an adre- adrenaline junkie. Like I love like roller coasters. I would go <laughs> skydiving tomorrow, but like that is so scary. Yeah, I think this is a little bit uh, more difficult than a roller coaster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seven miles per hour. That's miles, dude. Not kilometers, miles. Like a jet. so crazy like they're literally shaking the camera with how fast they're going like the because the wind as they go by yeah and you know it's we're from canada where they use kilometers per hour right they're using 200 miles per hour bro that is unreal it's so mind-blowing they literally sound like jet engines when they're going by i didn't even know that you could physically go that fast yeah i didn't know that either that's crazy to me. And the, and the other thing, too, is that they're racing, right? It's not like just one person is going this fast yeah, no, it's by like themselves. Them. It's like they're competing against each other. So you have yeah. to, like, not only be driving and worrying about the terrain and the track, you have to be worried about what's around you, too. It's not like you're just cruising out there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even also, that would be hard. I'm also curious to know, like, is this something, you guys in the comments, like, is this something that they would have practiced, maybe not at this speed, but they would have gotten familiar with the train in advance? Or is this something that they come and they don't know the course at all? Because imagine moving at that speed and you don't know what's coming next yeah i'm sure they've definitely gone around the track of you know a few, few times to f- get a feel for it yeah um because i would i would imagine it'd be like a death sentence if you went into this going that yeah. fast and you don't know when to you know slow down speed up you yeah. know hit the turn a certain way a jump and, or yeah exactly yeah and then uh, you know even the fact that it was raining at some points like mm-hmm. that just blew my mind this is crazy <laughs> Fast man, it looks fake. <laughs> That's slow mo.
No fucking ways. No. Oh, for fuck's sake. No. I just can't believe how fast they get from one point to the next point. Like they're literally here at one second, like not even a second, like, like a millisecond point later. Yeah. And then they're all the way at the other end immediately. Yeah, it's like instantaneous almost. It also like makes me so nervous, like these people that are just like laying on the side of the road because I'm like one split little problem and that thing comes off to the side and it's literally taking out a whole row of oh, people. Oh yeah, like, yeah, it wouldn't just be the the person on the bike and yeah, everybody that's watching. What I'm saying. Like some people are behind blockades and stuff. So like that I'm like, hey whatever. But like that, like I'm like Yeah, but I think that's the draw of the spectacle, right? Is that it's so dangerous, it's so fast, it's so mind blowing. Yeah. People want to take the risks to perform in the the race itself. Yeah. And also to witness it. You can see like the adrenaline rush, as I was saying, of even mm -hmm. the people watching, watching it. They're like, Holy crap, I can only imagine that's what I was saying about being on the bike because like that adrenaline is going to wear off at some point. I don't know how long the race is, but you know, you're going that fast for that long. Like it's at some point adrenaline's not going to be kicking in. You just got to be focused the whole way through. Yeah. Right. So it's, this is just so crazy. You literally said like 340 kilometers per hour there for a second. And I was like, yeah. So we're going to have to go to the Isle of man now. <laughs> It's got to be put on That's the travel plan. for the reaction channel. We got to do film our reaction. Yeah, live reaction. Live reaction at the Isle of Man. It's oh going to be on to the Can you imagine? So I will we'll, probably be pooping my pants. We'll start taking donations now <laughs> for our trip to the Isle of Man. Yeah. So unreal. wild that's crazy have you ever been to a professional car or motorcycle race no no me either i always wanted to go to grand prix though yeah it's something that i never really i guess had an interest in because i didn't know what all the hype was about mm -hmm. and now i can see why yeah <laughs> i was yeah. always kind of like well like what's the point you only see you know them come around 
once a minute and it lasts for five seconds. Yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> this one has last for like one second that you yeah. see people, but, um, I get it. You know, it's like just so mind blowing to see how fast they're moving. And, you know, it, it is comical, but at the same time you see these people like cheering and like, it's literally for like two seconds. Literally, they're like, yeah. And like done. these people on the bikes and then in the cars and stuff definitely do not even no, see anybody. Long gone. Yeah. yeah. They're just focused on the road. They have to be right. If they yeah. get distracted, then obviously we talked about that could result in some major disaster, but that yeah. was really, really cool. I, I really enjoyed seeing that because watching it, like I was saying, it just seemed like a special effect. Mm -hmm. It did, literally. You know, it was just like I it didn't see. I can't believe how see, fast that was. I was like, yeah, it didn't seem like that's possible. Yeah, it almost literally seemed fake. Yeah. <laughs> Wild, but yeah, that would be like, I can't even imagine seeing that in person. I think even like, like car racing, I think is cool to witness, but you're like enclosed in a vehicle, right? So I feel like it's not, it's still dangerous, but this is just wild to me on a bike. It's like even next level. Yeah. Crazy. Agreed. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed our reaction My of brain is just being mind blown as Sam just alluded to. It was very, very cool. So I'm glad we got to experience that. Make sure you hit the like button if you did enjoy it and uh, make sure you subscribe because we've got lots of sports on the channel. Yeah. We want you to be a part of this community that we've been building. Uh, if you do subscribe, hit the notification bell as well, because that'll be uh, ensuring that YouTube notifies you when we drop something, which they don't always do for all our content, which can be a little frustrating. But um, I really enjoyed this one. If you got any other recommendations, we're always open to them. Uh, so drop it down low in the comments. And hopefully we see you in our next video. We'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. See you then.